I'm here at NAB 2013 and if you think I look happy, I am happy because I've just seen something. We're going to demonstrate it to you. It's a growing clip inside of Final Cut Pro 10. NAB is brought to you by X-Effect. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from industrialrevolution.com. Okay, Pierre, um, I've come here and we've had a sneak peek, so I'm very excited. Um, I think it's going to change my life because I work in a lot of editing with sports and events that happen on the same day. Quick turnaround and there's been a history of great products working with Final Cut Pro 7 that will enable you to edit a growing file within the, the you know, you don't have to stop stop recording to start editing so if you're editing a football match hit record and you can start to edit as soon as uh, as soon as you want now those products don't work in Final Cut Pro 10 and I'm not going to mention any names but it's a three-letter company that everybody should know mm. we've tried it every time a new update comes out I drag the clip in nothing happens uh, but I'm very excited because hopefully you're going to tell me a bit about movie recorder which can do exactly that yeah yeah, so Movie Recorder, we've started with Final Cut 7 as well. So yeah. we've, been, we've been doing these solutions to do yeah. edit while in ingest. That's how we call it, with, with Final Cut Pro 10, uh, 7. And honestly, also, it was not working the first time we tried with Final Cut Pro 10. But right. now, we succeeded to make it work, but since a while, I think since uh, almost day one, Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah. So we can do that. We, with Movie Recorder, that's a pretty easy solution. Hit record get your file in Final Cut Pro 10 and start editing okay. right away. Now, I'm a bit of a doubting Thomas. Uh -huh. I, I need, I've seen a quick hint, I need to see it happening. I need to see that file growing in Final Cut Pro 10 because as soon as I see that, it's going to change a lot of people's lives because that's what they want. They want to go to a sporting event, hit record and get editing straight away. All right. So we're just going to have a quick reposition to have a look at the GUI. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Pierre, we're looking exactly at the screen because we really need to see what's happening and we can't really do it with cutaways because it's not something that's going to be able to match up. So we want to see it happening right away. Okay, well, we'll try to show that. And just to make sure that we can see it, what, so this is the user interface of Movie Recorder, pretty simple. And I'll just then press record. Okay, starts recording. It will create a file that you have seen here. We'll go find the Pro. Command I to import. We'll select the same file that we are currently importing. Right, okay, just let's get this absolutely straight. Yes. You've just set this into record. It's yes. still recording. Yes, it is. And it's pretty, so I'll import that in that event. And you will see here, that's the file that is growing. And we'll go up to the moment where we are. So now there's nothing recorded right. yet. Right. So I'll go a bit back. And you can see the time. And you can see the time that is now. Yeah, that's because 12, this is, 37, yeah. 37. We have a video We've coming got in. seconds there. So you're, what, four seconds behind real time. Yes. Which is pretty incredible. <laughs> it can be. I could try to make it a little bit finer. We um, it's a few frames behind. Did, really. I think the jobs I could do, I think we could live with four seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. so again, just to stress, there's no reloading of the clip into the, you know, in, in no. once you've done it, but you, you set the thing up by saying the clip's an hour long or whatever, yes. and then you, then you write into that clip. Exactly. So you have to set a duration first, and so it will import a one hour file in uh, Final Cut Pro 10. For example, right. if you set it to one hour, you send it to five minutes. But also at the end of the recording, let's say you have set one hour, you record 20 minutes, we'll do the, the clip shorter. Or you have done it longer, it will grow longer. Yeah. All right. Okay, so here we see up in the, um, in the event um, browser, the, you've got this actually playing on here. We did actually yeah. have these updating before. They will update when I hit stop and that's, that's on there. So that, I mean, for me, again, it's, I think it's going to change my life because I've got a lot of people saying to me who I'm, I'm doing jobs with Final Cut Pro 7 yeah. and they're quick turnaround. And it's just, it's not a case of, oh, let's try it with 10 or anything like that. It's just a case of, no, it won't work because we have to have access to an open file. Yeah. Um, and it's just black and white. No, no, we can't do it. So I've got quite a few producers saying to me, just say, you know, let us know when you want to go 10 and uh -huh. we'll do it. And I'm just saying, well, we can't. So this is actually the first time I've actually seen it working. I'm actually really, really excited about it. <laughs> it's like little kids on yeah. Christmas seeing it. 
Okay, fantastic. What about um, pricing and availability? So pricing uh, starts at 695 euros. Right. We have a pro option that adds proxy recording, metadata if you want to enter metadata, and VTR control. And that's the pro option, which is 295. Right. All right. But for 695 dollars to get going within that amount of time is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it might be even other events that you that the people have got. Even if they're um, ingesting from tape and they want to get going, in, you know, uh, editing on something from tape straight away or whatever, yeah. that the, the, they'll be able to do yeah. this. And that's the price per channel because we can record up to six HD ch channel on one single Mac Pro. Uh, so it's from Multicam. We have Multicam production as well, Multicam logger. So it's really easy to use. Okay, and it's still recording about well, about nine seconds or something yeah. like that behind. And then we'll soon reach the end of the, of the file that we have set it for five minutes, I think. Brilliant. You made me very, very happy. Thanks very much for showing that to You're me. Welcome. Thanks very much. Welcome, Peter. Now, just as we were saying goodbye and packing up, we were talking about multicam use in Final Cut Pro 10, and uh, Pierre showed us something very quickly. We thought, we must show you that. Uh, we thought, obviously, that bringing um, more than one clip in, because you can record up to six channels, you could actually build a multi-clip within Final Cut Pro 10, but it's a bit smarter than that. And I was wondering if you'd yeah. tell me a bit about that. All right. So this is from our control interface, Move Recorder Control, where we can record any number of recorders, basically, because it just controls them over the network or locally. And as it controls, we have a gang record. So you just take the one you start recording, yeah. hit record, and we even have a preference to send the multicam clip to Final Cut Pro 10 to make life easier because otherwise you could do it like that, record all the cameras, import them in Final Cut Pro 10, Lash select them, them. them and select them and select make multicam, but we thought it would be easier to just have an option to send it. So you say, okay, export the XML, Final Cut Pro, the destination, and now if you hit record, it will import all in Final Cut Pro 10 and you'll be ready with the multicam and all the cameras. So that's a growing multicam growing growing multicam. multicam clip inside of Final Cut Pro so 10. So it's very nice to be you you on set and you want to start cutting and you have all the camera cam coming in and you start editing in Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah. Thank you, Pierre. I'm even happy now. <laughs> NAB is brought to you by XFX. Final Cut Pro 10 plugins from iDustrialRevolution.com.